By using Pythagoras theorem. By using Pythagoras theorem. Everyone understood this. A 15 meter long ladder. 15 meter long ladder. See, it was not clear. This was also not clear. See, 15 meter long ladder. Reach a window. Reach a window. 15 meter long ladder. Reach a window. 12 meter high from the ground. This is ground. So 12 meter high from the ground. Means window is here. Okay. From the ground. On placing it against the wall. Where it is placed against the wall. Ladder is against the wall. At a distance A. Against the wall. At a distance A. Okay. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder. See. This is the foot of the ladder. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. See wall is here. Foot of the ladder is here. So find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. From here to here. This distance we have to find. Okay. So A. Find a wall at a distance. It is given. So now C. This is wall. Means it has come here now 90 degree angle. So here 90 degree angle it is formed. Okay. Now this side is opposite to 90 degree angle. So this side is called hypotenuse. This side is opposite to 90 degree angle. So this side is hypotenuse. Okay. Now we give the name for this triangle C. A, B, C. Okay. By using Pythagoras theorem. Now what Pythagoras theorem says? Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Okay. So which is hypotenuse in this AC square? AC square. Is equal to 
is also okay. Now see here. Two square, two square, four. What is the square of two? Four. Again, this second side, two square, four. Third side, five square, twenty-five. Okay, twenty-five. See, so five square. So it should come the sum of this both the square is equal to twenty-five. But are you getting the same? No. If you will see, four plus four. What you are getting? Eight. And how much it is? Twenty-five. So these are not equal. These are not equal. Or if you will do sum of these and this, twenty-five plus four, twenty-nine. Again, it will not be the same. So these sides cannot be the right angle triangle. These are not the sides of the right angle triangle. Same way you have to solve for these also. Okay. Let's solve question number five. A tree is broken at a height of five meters from the ground. Suppose now see this is tree. This is tree. A tree is broken at height of five meters from the ground. Height of five meters from the ground. Suppose this is tree. Height of five meters from the ground. Height of five meters. Suppose this distance is five meters. Okay. Five meters from the ground. This is ground. Tree is. A tree is broken at the height of five meters from the ground. Is from the ground. Height of five meters is. This distance is broken. This distance is broken. Okay. And its top touches the ground. And its top touches the ground at a distance of twelve meters from the base of the tree. This is the base of the tree. This is the base of the tree. See, base of the tree. Again, I will explain. A tree is broken at height of five meter from the ground. Okay, height of five meter. Okay, means this is height of five meter. This is total tree. Yes, total length of tree is this much. This is total. And when it broken at five meter distance, the tree is broken. Okay, from the ground and it stops. Broken tree. If this tree will broken, this upper part broken. If it will broken, it will fell down like this. See, this is upper part. If it will broken, it will fall like this. This part, if it is broken at height of five meter, this upper part it is broken. If it is broken, it will fall like this. Okay, so this is broken part. It will broken. It will fall like this. And what it is given from the ground, and it stop, and it stop touches the ground. See, this stop touches the ground here. It stop if it will fall on the ground. See, this part is broken. This part is broken. If it will broke, it will come down. And it stop, it stop, it stop touches the ground at a distance. From the base, this is the base of the tree. So how much distance it is? Twelve meter. It stop. Tree stop. Which is top of the tree? This is the top of the tree. Touches the ground. When it fall, it touch the ground. Touches the ground at a distance of twelve meter. At what distance it touches the ground? Twelve meter from the base of the tree. This is base of the tree. So this distance is twelve meter. So this distance is twelve meter. Okay, from the base of the tree. From the base of the tree. This is base of the tree, and it touches at twelve meter distance. This top touches the ground at twelve meter. Twelve meter distance at twelve meter distance from the base of the tree. Okay, from the base of the Tree. Find the original height of the tree. Then we have to find this original height of the tree. We have to find the original. How much height of the tree? 
agree this total height we have to find. This total height we have to find. See, this is tree. Total height of tree. Okay. Then a tree is broken. Tree is broken. How much it is at the height of five meter from the ground? From the ground five meter height means at the height of five meter means upper part it is broken and that broken.
total tree height of total tree this is height of total tree okay and tree is broken at 5 meter from the ground and its top touches when it broken from the ground five meter distance means this is broken part and its top means broken part top touches the ground it top when it broken it fallen down like this okay on the ground at a distance of 12 meter from the base of the tree so this distance is 12 meter means where it is fallen that distance is 12 meter from the base of the tree so find the original height of the tree so we find the hypotenuse means this broken part we got yes this broken part we got so that part plus this part means the original height of the tree okay Thank you. 
rectangle okay we give the name for this rectangle a b c d okay find the perimeter of the rectangle whose length is 40 cm length of
So perimeter of rectangle. What we have to find perimeter of rectangle? Two into bracket length plus breadth. Now two length how much? Forty centimeter. And breadth how much? Length how much it is given? Forty centimeter. And breadth how much we got? Nine centimeter plus nine centimeter. So two into forty nine. Forty plus nine forty. So two nine is eighty. Two is carry two four is eight and one nine. So ninety eight centimeter. So what is the perimeter of rectangle? Ninety eight centimeter. Find the perimeter of the rectangle. So what is the perimeter of rectangle? Ninety eight. 